bright red lanterns, yummy dumplings, red envelopes. And are those firecrackers I hear? It must be time for Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year, called Cuan Jie, or Spring Festival, takes place on the first day of the Chinese lunar calendar. This is why Chinese New Year is sometimes celebrated in January and sometimes in February. Chinese New Year is a very important holiday for the Chinese people. In fact, it's the biggest festival of the year. Most people will take the entire week off and travel back to their hometown to meet up with family and friends. Traditionally, the Chinese people share the New Year Eve dinner around a round table in a celebration known as Tuan Yuan, which literally means a round gathering. It's similar to Christmas and Thanksgiving in this way, except instead of turkey and stuffing, the Chinese New Year dinner table is filled with other mouth-watering dishes. One super popular dish is the dumplings, because they are shaped like traditional gold nuggets, and therefore they symbolize good fortune. Another popular dish is the fish, yu, because it puns with the Chinese idiom, nian nian yo yu, which means there's so much good fortune that there are leftovers every year. After the dinner. Elders in the family will bless children by gifting them red envelopes, known as hong bao. And guess what's inside? Yep, money. Speaking of red, that's by far the most popular color you will see during the Chinese New Year. Red lanterns hanging from street lamps, red wall couplets called dui lian, glued around doors everywhere. And even red firecrackers popping in the streets. Why all the red? Well, legend tells us that a long, long time ago in ancient China, there once lived a horrible monster named Nian. Nian's head had a wicked-looking horn, and Nian's teeth were long and sharp, sharper than the sharpest of knives. Every year around this time, Nian would rise from the deepest part of the sea and come to terrorize the Chinese villages. In those days, the Chinese people lived in great fear of this terrible beast. But one day, a strange old man appeared and told the villagers to hang red lanterns on the streets, attach red couplet scrolls on every door, and to dress head to toe all in red. They nervously waited, but that year, when Nian approached the village, all it saw was red, red, red. As it turned out, red was Nian's most feared color. Then all of a sudden, the sound of pop, pop, popping firecrackers filled the air, and Nian ran for his life. To this day, the color red and Firecrackers remain the strongest traditions for Chinese New Year. This story may also explain why the word year is pronounced Nian in Chinese, and why the celebration of Chinese New Year is called Guo Nian, which has the double meaning of passing the year and beating the Nian beast. It's almost Chinese New Year, so let's learn a few popular blessings we can use when we meet people during this time. Xin Nian Kuai Le, Wan Shi Ru Yi. Happy New Year! Best wishes to you. Xin Nian Kuai Le, Wan Shi Ru Yi. And if you're a kid, you can even say. 恭喜发财，红包拿来。I'm wishing that you get really rich, so give me that red envelope now. 恭喜发财，红包拿来。In celebration of Chinese New Year, be sure to download our activity pack from www. 
littlechineselearners.com. 新年快乐